Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Amy and today I'm going to show you how I water propagate my house plants. So there may be a number of different reasons why you want to try this today. Most likely the first one is that you want to make even more plants. So this is a great free way to do this. It's a great way to create more plants from the plants you already have. It can be used as a good fallback in case you have a plant that you love that's not doing so great. But before it's past a certain point, you want to get it get another one going. Another reason you might want to propagate your plants is to make them more bushy. So they might be looking a little bit leggy, a little bit stretched. You wanna get that bushy foliage look in your house. So today I'm gonna to show you how I do that. I do find water propagating the easiest way to propagate your house plants. I just find like it's easiest to monitor how they're getting on, how the roots are doing, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna share with you today how I do that. So the first thing you're gonna need is a scissors. I have a small one here that I bought just for propagating because it's really small and cute. <laughs> and you go, wanna go ahead and disinfect this, make sure that there's, you haven't used it on any other plants because this just stops the spread of bacteria and pests and things like that from one house plant to another. It's better off to be safe than sorry. So I'm going to take some surgical spirit or rubbing alcohol, basically the same thing, and I'm just gonna wipe down my scissors. You all clean, you all clean now, yeah. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna need is some kind of a vessel to hold your water. Now, it doesn't matter what you use, really. I prefer to use clear things, like clear glass, because that way I can check on how the roots are growing, and I really love watching them grow and seeing them progress but you can use anything. You can use things that aren't see-through, you can use beer bottles, uh, you know, test tubes, any kind of a vial that you have. Um, I'm gonna show with you, I just have these random glass bits that I use for some of mine. I have this, I also have this in water. This is in a kind of a mason jar type thing. And I have an old, I don't know what was in this, some kind of a drink that I just kept and thought would be nice for propagating. So anything will do, just um, have some kind of a vessel to put your plant in. So the next thing you're gonna need is a plant that you wanna propagate. So not all plants can be propagated through cuttings this way. Some plants have to be propagated through division, which is basically like dividing two separate parts of the plant that both have root systems, but they're in the same pot maybe. Um, that kind of thing. So today we're gonna to need a plant that can be propagated through cuttings. So I'm gonna use a few different examples today of plants that you might wanna propagate. So the first that I have is my crazy looking <laughs> Adansoni Monstera Adansonii. So I had this plant so beautiful and luscious and it was just amazing and then I just forgot to water it for like two days and it dropped almost all of its biggest leaves. I was so upset about it, still kind of upset about it. Um, there was all these big leaves along this stalk. So it looks a bit, it looks a bit uh, like this whole section is lovely, but it should be like up here, that kind of thing. I just don't really like the way it looks anymore. The leaves on the top, everything is a bit, I don't know. I feel like I want to leave these bits because they might, droop down to be kind of nice hanging wise but this piece is just annoying me in order to propagate your plant you need to know a little bit about plant anatomy so i have decided i am going to do a little video in the future where we can all learn about kind of basic plant anatomy together but for the purpose of this video, you just kind of need to know what a node is or an internode. Here I have this stalk, okay? So this is kind of easy to see because it's lost loads of its leaves. So basically a node is a part along the stem where the roots are going to grow out of. So basically along this stem, the nodes are here, 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 and here. That's actually a break. So there's one, two, three, four, five nodes, technically six, but the internodes are basically just the space in between them. That's what the internodes are. The purpose of this is that you want to get the node hitting water because that's where the roots are going to grow from. So we're gonna cut this. I'm gonna cut it at the base first. So I've got my scissors. This is gonna be hard to do. 
First things first, I'm going to cut it down here. This section has a good root system itself, so I am actually going to leave part of the stem as it is because it may grow leaves in the future. So I'm just going to cut here in between two nodes. <laughs> I get really I get really like sad about cutting them. I don't know why. Here we have our cutting, okay? So we can stick this in water itself and roots may grow from each node or some of the nodes and um, i could cut it up here and just have this part when you're doing this it's much more likely that if you have leaves you're going to propagate successfully you can propagate through stems i've done it a few times but it's much less likely to happen because the plant has to you know put out a serious amount of energy to not only make roots but also to make new leaves i am going to cut the end of this off and just try and propagate that just the stem cutting because there are the starts of some aerial roots here i am going to cut that off but then the rest i'm going to put in water so i'm going to cut here might as well cut where it was already breaking we cut here and I'm going to stick this in water now. It, it, you do have to kind of remember which direction to put it in. So then this is a little bit wonky. You know, it's kind of like growing up like this. So I'm going to try and angle it so that it's kind of down like that. So I'm hoping that I'll get roots growing from quite a few of these nodes. This Adansonian just looks ridiculous now. <laughs> I will just show you that um, uh, a couple of months ago I took a lot of cuttings from that very same plant and I rooted them and I put them in this to make a whole new plant so all of these were cuttings I'm gonna put a picture here of what they looked like when I took them out just before I potted them up just to give you an idea of what Monstera adansonia roots look like and I potted them all up in here with a moss pole to see if I could get some big leaves I also want to show you that this here was very similarly like just a stem with no leaf at all and um, it had a good root system so I left that in the soil I kept watering it like a normal plant and if you could see this leaf has just grown it hasn't fully unfurled it's just grown straight out of that little stem so just if you can see that if it has a good root system, leave it in there. It might, it might surprise you. <laughs> I do just want to say that you do want to pick like a healthy part of the plant. If you have yellowing leaves on your plant and it's not looking so great, you can try and put it in water. I've done that with plants that are almost dead. <laughs> um, just to see, you know, a little experiment. Sometimes they surprise you, sometimes they really don't. and They will just die in there and rot in that water. But it's nice to try these things but i just want to say that if you do have yellowing leaves maybe if it's not the only leaf on the plant you could cut it off and see how that goes also to say that let's say that there were leaves on each of these nodes i would probably have cut them off because they're going to be in water anyway if you're putting a leaf into water it's most likely just going to rot and might that bacteria from that rot might reach down to the roots and to where you made a cut and result in root rot so what is root rot root rot is basically kind of bacteria that gets into maybe an open wound on a plant or the roots and it can kind of end up brown and mushy and just like rotting like you can tell when it's rotting so the reason i love propagating in water is because i can kind of keep an eye on that if i do see some signs of rot starting i'm going to cut it off so with this cutting I've left a good bit of space here between the node and where I cut because I might put this in water and it might start to rot but if it starts rotting up to here I can cut it here and the plant will still be fine you just want to make sure that there's no rot left in the stem you can kind of look in it and if it looks white and healthy then you've gotten rid of all the rot. So when you're putting it in water, a good way to kind of combat that is to change the water weekly. Now, you do this for other reasons as well, but it can really help in preventing rot. If your plant is so showing signs of rot, you can take it out of the water, you can rinse it out, cut off the rot, wash your vessel out with some soap and 
put in some fresh water. I don't change it every week because I forget sometimes. It's usually every two weeks for me, but once a week is probably better. Another reason why you do change the water is to oxygenate the water. Oxygen is very important for roots. It's why you pick some airy soil mixtures and things like that so that the roots can breathe. So if your water is sitting there for a longer amount of time, it's becoming stagnant. There's no water, no oxygenation in it to help those roots come along. And you may get root rot much faster if you don't change the water to up the oxygen in that water. You can also oxygenate water by simply just taking your cuttings out and mixing it up a little bit, make some bubbles, <laughs> shake it up, and that also oxygenates water, but it is probably better to just replace it all together, just in case there's any bacteria hanging around there that you don't want to be getting into the open wounds of your plants. I have also heard that putting some pothos cuttings in water with your other cuttings makes them grow faster. Now, I don't know what the basis for this is. I haven't really looked into it, but I have heard a lot of people say it, and I do find this to be true myself, that if I put some of my golden pothos here, if I put some cuttings of this in into water in the same vessel as some of my other plants, they tend to root faster. You can try that out if you have any pothos in your home as well that is worth propagating. Also to show you is some basil. You can do this with basil super easily. I'm gonna put a picture here of what the roots of this look like just before I put it into this pot. Now, I know I said earlier that roots generally grow from nodes, but when I propagated this, <laughs> as you can see, the roots were crazy. Like I never seen roots like that grow before. They were just growing out of any possible space ever. I don't know why that is. It makes me think of stem cells or something weird like that. Like the stem or the node doesn't really know what its purpose is on a cellular level. I don't know, <laughs> but this is them. So they look nice and healthy. They're growing great. They're a little bit leaning over to the sun. I should probably rotate them a bit more, but just to show you what I did. So I have a bigger basil plant that I propagated this from. I cut it like here, around here, and I took off those two bottom leaves and I put this node into water. So I'm also going to show you, I have a whole bunch of cuttings in here. I always tend to jam them all in together. I don't know why. So I'm going to show you what's in here. The water does need to be changed a little bit. So some Peperomia caparata luna red. Peperomia can propagate through petioles, which is very weird. It's not necessarily a node. So if a leaf falls off, you can put this petiole into water and it will just grow roots. I am going to show you one that's been propagating for quite a few weeks. The leaf that I propagated this from is just about to die, just about to fall off, but I'm gonna keep it on there for a second just to show you how it grows. So it grows basically like, you can see loads of tiny little leaves as well as roots there. So that's how that kind of works, which is cool. So I have quite a few peperomi in this glass. So I have this. A few bits I threw my dog's ball at my peperomi obtusifolia here and I broke off some, some leaf tips. So I put these in water. Ooh. And I love these leaves, they're beautiful. So I'm hoping that's gonna grow roots. More of, oh great, ah, how exciting. So I put more of that obtusifolia into water and if you can see so this is growing some roots already which is very exciting so this is going to become its own little plant have some other peperomia caparata napoli lights <gasps> Ooh. and then we have a bunch of pothos so i'm going to try and show you these are new leaves. I didn't even see these come out. It's growing new leaves while it's propagating, which means it's probably time to put it in a pot, but I have no pots right now. So all of these are kind of stuck together. So I'm kind of just gonna take them all out. Ooh, there is a little bit of rot on one of them. So look at those roots, how exciting. Oh, it's dribbling on me. <laughs> this one is unfurling a new leaf. This is a golden pothos. So you can see where the node is and how the roots come out like this. These are some good roots. You can see here that there's a root growing off the main root, which 
would be called root hairs and when I start to see them is generally when I want to think about potting it up soon. We have an example of some rot but also two nodes that were in water both of which grew roots so I will be cutting off this little bit of rot but as you can see there's two nodes and both of them have roots growing out of them but there is a little bit of rot just to show you what that looks like it's kind of ew, ew that was disgusting <laughs> so we're gonna cut that off right now <laughs> gross okay okay that rot went up quite far but it's fine okay so then you can see healthy stem there at the end where I cut so I think I've gotten rid of all the rot and I am gonna change the water after this video we have okay we have another one we have roots growing from three different nodes crazy so we have the bottom node here has a root we have this node here has a root and then we have this one here growing from this guy's node so this is a new leaf which I didn't even notice until right now it's kind of small and pathetic but I am probably gonna pot off each of these cuttings into one pot so that they look kind of full and then I have a stem cutting now what is this of I think this I actually don't even know I'm pretty sure this is pothos it could be an adansonii as well I don't really know so it has no roots but it was a stick for quite a few weeks and now it's growing a little leaf little baby leaf and i have a little tiny shoot coming up here as well so i'm going to keep this in water in the same way and once the leaves get a bit established it's going to start to put some energy into those roots i do just want to say as well that when you are propagating do keep an eye on the water level in your vessel because you do want this node to be in water at all times. If, it, if the water level drops a little bit and that node comes out of water and it's there for a few days, you're gonna have a much more difficult process in doing this. So just keep an eye on them. I tend to put mine somewhere that I'm gonna see them all the time. So I put them at the end of the desk here and I'm working there every day now. So I'm able to keep an eye on them much more often. I think that that is everything. So, if you have any questions leave them down below in the comments and i will try and answer you if i don't know i will try and find out the answer for you if this video has inspired you to start water propagating your own house plants and just create more house plants and more house plants and more house plants <laughs> Um, I would love to see some photos and see how your roots are getting on. You can let me know on my Instagram account and please give this video a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more and I will see you again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye!